Okay, for someone that's just starting with tennis, a beginner in tennis, what's a tip that I would give them for the serve? One of the best tips that I can give them is learn how to throw a ball because that's key to developing a good serve. Um, you see, you can't serve like this. If you're facing the net, you would never serve like this, okay? You're going to get a patty cake serve. Obviously, you turn sideways, but if you ever watch a pitcher in baseball, they rotate the shoulders this way. See, right now, you're looking at the back of my left shoulder, okay? So when I, they go here, they start their wind up, and then they turn this way. That turning, that shoulder rotation, is what sets the kinetic chain in motion. So you need to get that. So when you're serving, you start, let's say, like this, but as you come, as you come back with your hands, notice you're looking at the back of my left shoulder. I've turned the shoulders so I'm setting that kinetic chain in motion. Once you've set that, now you're going to come out of it by turning your shoulders this way. And as you turn, the kinetic chain unwinds. So you've got the trunk, and then you're coming through with the hitting arm, and it enables each part of the chain to pick up speed without any hesitation or no stopping. That's another key. You watch a pitcher in baseball, once they start, there's no stopping in the motion. It's just one continual motion. One continual fluid motion that picks up speed so that the pitcher's arm is going extremely fast at this time when he's just letting go of the ball. With a tennis player, it's the same thing. You set it in motion and the racket is moving extremely fast because you've got the trunk stops, then the shoulder's coming in. You've got shoulder, elbow, and wrist in that order. The, elbow, the shoulder comes. When the shoulder stops, the elbow picks up. And when the elbow stops, the wrist finishes. So think of it like, you know, you're in a car and you're in a fine-tuned car. And when you start, you start off slowly and you gradually increase that speed on the motor. So you're going from, let's say, zero to 150 like that. You know, it's quick, but it's, it's a gradual thing. And you want the, the fastest speed right there when you're hitting the ball. So when you're serving for a beginner, you know, number one, you can play a game called tennis baseball. Just no rackets, just have a partner on the other side and learn how to throw. You know, turn those shoulders and learn how to throw. The key to learning how to throw is keeping your arm loose like spaghetti. Okay, so once your arm reaches, I say I'm throwing the ball that way now. I turn like this, see when my arm reaches here, that's when you need to let the arm really relax and bend. And the palm of my hand stays down here. So I come back up to here, I relax the hitting arm, bend the elbow, and that's how you throw. So watch pitchers, watch people that know how to serve, and just focus in, dial in on what they're doing here. That Staying loose and creating that throwing motion is key to a good serve. So when you're serving, it's the same thing. You're here and then see I'm turning. I'm bringing my hands back. As my hands come back, the shoulders rotate. So right there, you know, you're looking at the back of my shoulder. Okay, so here again. Okay, you can, it's clear to see here that I've brought the hands back, the shoulders have rotated, and my opponent is now looking at the back of my left shoulder. 
Okay, now you'll start to see the shoulders start to unwind right there. Now the shoulders are turning towards the net. There they've fully turned. So that rotation will really give you the power you're looking for. So when I'm here, when you bring the hands back, you want to show the back of your hitting shoulder right there to your opponent. So again, keep that hitting arm loose. And it's just kind of like you're throwing your racket at the ball. You know, once you develop that throwing motion, just pretend you're throwing your racket at the ball. So that's key to a good serve, that trunk rotation right there. Show your opponent right there. Back of your non-hitting shoulder right there and come in. So that's a key for beginners. Learn how to throw a ball and you're going to have a serve that won't let you down for a long time. All the best. Take care.